Hey guys, welcome back. This is Simply Mirsa. Today I wanted to do a quick unboxing of my first mirrorless camera. I am super excited to be using this new product. I've been using my iPhone to record my other videos. In this intro, I am using my iPhone and at the end of the video, I will be using our new camera. I am definitely a beginner in learning how to use different camera equipment. I have done some research and I've decided to go with this specific camera, the Sony ZV-E10 for a few reasons that I will talk about in this video. So let's jump into the unboxing. This is the box it comes in. Let's get it open. We see the standard instructions right on the top. Quite a few. We don't need those. Just kidding. I will definitely need to read the manual. Now as we open it, we have a, the shoulder strap that it comes with. I'm happy it's included. That way I don't have to buy one anytime soon. Then we have the USB-C cable. This cable connects to the AC adapter, which is this one right here. Let me take it out. This is where the USB-C is connected. Now we have the rechargeable battery pack, FW50. It only comes with one. I will definitely need to invest in buying a couple more of these. I believe they are around $60 each. This is the windscreen that goes on top of the camera. It feels very soft, it's very small. This should be very helpful when recording outside. When recording indoors, I think I'm going to continue using an external mic. I'll test the built-in mic to see what sounds better. Finally, we have the actual camera. Here it is. The lens that comes on this camera is a standard zoom lens. 16 to 15 millimeter f 3.5 to 5.6 oss this lens is considered a kit lens it zooms from a very wide angle it's considerably small compared to other lenses but one of the reasons i chose this camera was the interchangeable lens feature as we can see it's very simple to remove and place back I thought as I continue learning more about cameras and lenses, I can grow with this camera and in the future invest in different lenses to improve my video quality. But for now, this lens should definitely work for me. Then right here we have our 3 inch LCD display that flips out. This allows for me to see myself, make sure I'm in frame when I'm recording by myself. I thought that can be very useful. And this is one of the features that kind of sold me on this camera. Now the button layout is pretty simple, which I appreciate a lot on and off. Button, record, camera, video modes. Now I also purchased a few accessories. This is the Sony Logger Kit. Since I purchased it with the camera, I received a $50 discount and it comes with a 64 gigabyte memory card. Let me take it out so I can show you. It's not a lot of storage, but it's gonna be useful to have it as a backup in the future in case I run out. Now this is our remote grip tripod. The purpose of this is grip is to wirelessly control your camera. So when I'm on the go, I can use this as an extension of the camera. It comes with the grip tripod carrying pouch to store the grip. Let me take it out so you can see it. Here it is, the pouch. I wish the actual camera came with some kind of pouch like this. I will probably look into getting some kind of compact carrying case for it later on. I'll let you know. So as you can see, it's functions as a small tripod, again, pretty simple, but in layout, let me show you. Here is our photo mode, record, zoom in and out. These buttons on the side is to change the angle of the camera when it's mounted on the grip and the camera just screws on top of this grip. 
and it's pretty stable when placed and it's very easy to handle next is the platinum USB-C to SD card reader to connect to my computer I didn't own this accessory so I had to purchase this to transfer the footage from my camera to the computer previously I was just airdropping my footage that I was recording on my iPhone to my computer and it was taking quite a long time now I will transfer all my footage from the SD card and as we see here on the side this is where the SD card is placed and I also purchased a Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte SD card this specific SD card has was recommended to handle 4k footage more efficient well that was the unboxing of my first mirrorless camera I am super excited to begin using it this last portion of the video is being recorded with this new camera one feature I wanted to show you is a product showcase feature so let's test this out apparently this feature will automatically focus on an object in front of my face very quickly without placing a hand behind it so I don't know if you guys have noticed in some cameras you'll need another object or larger object to focus on so even when showcasing a small item it will focus back on my face very quickly so let me show you here's one let me show you one more time so the Sony ZV-E1 also has this feature which is in the same family of this camera but the biggest difference between the cameras is that the ZV-E1 does not have the ability to change out the lens like we saw in the video please let me know in the comments below if you see any improvement in the quality in this last portion of the video I hope I can continue to create more content consistently the enormous number of ideas of making videos sometimes can be overwhelming but I just need to keep posting so please let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys enjoy or don't enjoy Thank you again for stopping by and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and see you in my next video. Wait. Live in by 35. <laughs> All right.